Stand development is a special way to develop your black and white film. It is by far the easiest way to develop your film, but it also has certain benefits that may interest um, a bit more advanced developer. So what are the benefits? First of all, it is very simple. You only need to measure the mixture. You don't need to really measure the temperature or time. The second very interesting benefit is that you can shoot your film using different ASA figures. So you may have one picture shot at 400, the other one as 800, the third one as 200, and they all will be fine. As far as I know, with every other development method, you need to um, shoot your entire film using the same um, ASA, ASA value. So this gives you uh, ease of use, flexibility, and then finally there's a benefit that I like is that it emphasizes the borderline between bright and dark, therefore easily giving an impression of more contrast. Biggest disadvantage is increased grain, and especially in a smaller film format such as 35mm um, and with certain films like for example Ilford Delta 3 200 it may become a little bit too much depending of course uh, on your taste another problem with stand development is that it is very very difficult to get totally even development so for example if you have a beautiful blue sky it may eventually be a little bit spotty or you may have shadows there I use stand development whenever I need to shoot different ASA on the same film, whenever I want to get more grain and gritty on my film, uh, when I don't have large even areas, and especially when I don't know exactly what the exposure was. Here is an exposed roll of film that I'm going to sacrifice for your benefit. This phase is the only phase that you need to do in total darkness. I mean total darkness. You take your exposed film and then you need to have a development tank like this. And you can get this fairly cheap online. It's a water and light tight container that includes a spiral like this. So first you open your exposed film roll. Now, once again, in total darkness. What I'm doing right now here is only for demonstration purposes. You start to, in darkness, open your film, and this is the packing paper. This just keeps the film roll light side. So you keep on opening and eventually you feel that the film gets exposed from within the roll. You take the beginning of the film, find the notches on your spiral, and you put the beginning of the film under these notches, like this. Then you start to rotate, and as you can see, the film advances and goes into the spiral. Keep your thumbs on these notches, and keep on twisting the spiral as long as it goes. Then eventually you find the end of the film and there is a tape. You just twist and rip off the tape, separating the packing paper and the film. Put the film inside of the canister, put the lid on. Now it is safe to turn on the lights and you can go and start developing your film. We use only two chemicals to develop this film. We use developer, Rodinal, and we use fixture. Fixture can be almost any brand, but I have Ilford Rapid Fixture here. We will mix these. So for the developer, for stand development, it's one part of Rodinal, 100 parts of water. For the fixture, it is one part of fixture, four parts of water. But you can reuse this up to 15 or 20 times when this is one time only. I therefore mix my fixture into a bottle where I have a ready-made fixture for multiple rolls of film. And then I just use simple bookkeeping in the back of the bottle to know how many times I've already used this mixture. 
So uh, let's then develop uh, the film. We have already put the film into the container and now we will wash it first. Just regular cold tap water. And I let it stay in this water about three minutes or so. Uh, meanwhile I will make my mix of Rodinal mixture. One part of Rodinal, 7.5 milliliters of Rodinal and then I add 7.5 deciliters of regular tap water. I'm still washing the film, it's called a pre-wash. And then I pour this into the drain. And then I put the developer that I just mixed in. I close the lid and a pro tip, let the air out like this so it won't leak. Rotate it a few times, maybe up to a minute. Tap it a few times to get the air bubbles out. Air bubbles are not nice, they actually make spots on your film. And leave it there for half an hour. Then come back after half an hour or so. Rotate the container a few times. So this is actually called a semi-stand. In a proper stand you don't even mix it in between. But I do this to get a little bit more even outcome. Once again a few taps to get the notorious air bubbles out. Leave it there for another 30-45 minutes. Come back and pour the development into the drain. Then we wash it after the developer. Once again fresh tap water for about a minute or so, it's not so particular. Pour out the washing water. This is called a stop phase, where we stop the developer from uh, messing up with the film anymore and we replace that with the fixture. Now the fixture. Close the lid. Air out. Few rotations. Air bubbles out. Then after five minutes and then you collect the fixture. Remember this is reusable so don't throw it away. You can use it again and again up to 20 times. After the fixture we will wash it the final time. This is called a rinse. And now we can open the lid. It is no longer contagious. So I wash it about you know 10 minutes. Uh, and make sure that all the remaining chemicals are washed out. If you don't do this last phase properly, you end up having spots and, and some residue on your film. It does not need to be running water for the entire time of the wash, but uh, for the presentational purposes, I keep on doing something here. After 10 minutes, 15 minutes, take the film out and hang it there to dry. Stand development is a process where we make a really, really mild mixture of the developer and then we let the film stand in that developer for a long, long period of time until all the active ingredients of the developer have been exhausted and the film is developed. So instead of measuring the time or the temperature precisely, we only measure the mixture. We also avoid extra agitation or moving the film during the development, hence stand development. Hey then, uh, some environmental advice. 
developer uh, one part of developer hundred parts of water it is so mild mix that i just pour that into into the drain fixer on the other hand will contain silver and some other metals that are not suitable for for our wastewater systems i therefore collect all the old fixture and take it uh, to be properly disposed in an environmental way so I think that's it folks this time. See you later.